Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan SE 4 Motion. This particular one is King's Red Metallic on the exterior with cinnamon leatherette interior. It features LED headlights, LED turn signals and reverse lights, incandescent turn signals on the front. The LED light bar that lines up with the grill right across up to the logo here and then to the other side. Keyless entry on two doors, the dark anthracite um, uh, metallic wheels, or dark anthracite gray colored alloy wheels, I should say. Nice sharp bow line down the side. It comes out of the Tiguan flare into the door handles and into the top of the tail light. Silver roof rails, silver window surrounds, rear wiper on the back. It says Tiguan, but right beneath the Volkswagen logo right here. And then off to the left, it says SE. Off to the right there, it says 4Motion, which lets you know it's all wheel drive two faux exhaust tips down here at the base. The exhaust actually comes out underneath. Underneath these oversized reflectors right here, you have two of those. Sharp looking car, especially with the red color. Let's take a look at the inside. Let's open this guy up. There's dark beige, or this leatherette color right here. It's not dark beige on the uh, Tiguan, it's just beige. I'm sorry, cinnamon is what it's called. Uh, beige is on the crossboard and it's a similar color. Uh, you get a triple contrast stitch right here on the door inset and a single contrast stitch on the arm pad here trimmed out in black. Bottle and cup storage in the door right here. You do have this trunk release right here which opens your rear hatch. You can open all of it it's from the driver's seat and you just lift up and hold. That's also going to close it. You hold it until it closes. On your seat here, it's trimmed out with black on the edges here. The parts that matter that can show stains and scuffs real easy, easily are colored black. You do have uh, the cinnamon colored seat the rest of the way. The bolster is cinnamon. The entire seat is cinnamon here with a contrast stitched on the edge. Goes up behind the shoulders right here as well. Adjustable headrest. It's also cinnamon with a black push button for that manual adjust. On the side of the seat here, power lumbar right here. Forward and back and up and down is handled with this guy. And then this one here is your seat back adjust right there. The arm pad in the middle is trimmed out in black leatherette with a contrast stitch. If you look at the back seats there, all cinnamon back there. The seat belts are going to be black, of course. The seats have the contrast stitching there. The two outboard seats have uh, kind of upholstering going uh, north and south kind of effectively here. And the middle seat is just flat. It's still leatherette on all three seats. And there's a pull-down armrest in the middle back there with adjustable headrests. As you go ahead and climb in here, I have the air on full blast here. So I'm going to actually turn it down. You have capacitive touch right here where you can adjust that fan speed right there. It's a little swipe and it's indented a little bit there so you can actually feel it so you're not taking your eyes off the road to adjust it. Now over here on this infotainment screen right here you do have three main screens. This screen here with the speedometer and by hitting the view button I've got another one right here for the tachometer and then a third one for just uh, the blended screen here. So when you have this blended screen here I can actually change what is displayed on the left side and the right side using this to set up here. Left tab right there allows me to do average fuel economy and when you see an extra arrow there I can tab again. I can change it between since start, uh, long term, since refuel, uh, reset and then I can go back. There's my average fuel economy but I can arrow down using this button here and go to gear display, oil temperature, start stop, your settings right there and then no display or average fuel economy. I'm going to go with gear display there. And on the right hand side over here, let's push the button and I can change this side as well. So distance and time, I go, you see another arrow there so I can actually go further. Since start, long term, since refuel. So I can arrow down there and then arrow back over here. And then arrow down again, there's navigation, audio, telephone, destination, info, and then compass. Uh, I'll actually go with compass here. You can actually do navigation too. I'll go back up show you that. You can do navigation, which will show you turn by turn when you have turn uh, when you have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto navigation on. Uh, but we're going to go with compass right there, and there's your compass. Fuel gauge is off to the right right here. As you consume fuel, these lines disappear, and over here on the left is the temperature gauge. Automatic headlights right here. Coin box for storage down here. It's a telescoping steering wheel. I can pull down on this guy and then pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, set it where I need it, and then lock it back. There's a look at the Volkswagen logo right there. I have song skip and preset skip on the right side and volume control over here on the left. 
my adaptive cruise control, here's resume and set. My following distance is adjusted here. This is my on off switch for the adaptive cruise control. And then this is travel assist, which is, a, uh, which is more of the uh, semi-autonomous stuff. On the tip of the stalk here is a button. I can push that. That brings up my lane assist. I also have adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, side assist, rear traffic alert, front assist, and then I can close out of it right there as well. Vent setup is right here, all in a nice even line all the way across. The outboard vents are on a far corner, and then there's two in the middle right here. There's also a storage bin right up here on top. You can put some small items in there. Um, they're going to melt up there, so like, don't put chapstick and things like that up there because that's going to melt. You can have a nice flat dash here so you got a great view. And then up above here you have your auto dimming home link mirror right here, three door garage door memory, a Bluetooth button here, and then a digital compass off to the side. Vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above on each one of these. So you have that right there. And then you also have this dark, this black uh, sunshade here. The headliner's all black, the sunshade's black. And this button here will open that, just push, and that guy goes all the way back exposing this beautiful panoramic sunroof. It's got tinted glass on it as the sun's right overhead. So I don't have to have the sunshade closed. It's still got some, some uh, heat redu reduction to it. Uh, but the best way to do it is have that sunshade closed. Open the sunroof right here with this guy. That pane of glass stacks on top of that one. Pop up windscreen right here to keep the bugs and, and gnats and things out. But that sun's really intense today. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that back. And I just push this button to push forward. It's going to close again. And I'll leave the sunshade open so you can see that. Down here on the radio, AM, FM, and satellite radio. As long as you see that little hand icon right there, you've got gesture control, watching for your hand movements there. So you can move your hand in front of that. And you've got 36 presets here. And it doesn't matter. You can mix and match. You can have AM, FM, and satellite all mixed together on the same, same screen here. Uh, now you do also have a backlit shifter right here that you can see at night. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse for you. So you can see that camera right there. There's your rear view camera. Trajectory steering on that. Turn the wheel left. Turn that wheel right. The yellow line moves accordingly. The red line signifies where your bumper is and the green line signifies straight back. All right, you do also have down here on your climate control. There's the fan speed right there in the middle. I showed you that earlier. Your vent setup is right here. And you do also have heated seats uh, for both front seats here. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off on each side. And it's just capacitive touch, so you just touch there. You can also go from blue to red to go warmer or red to blue to go cooler. Your menu button is right here. That brings up a touch screen version here. Touch the blue side to go cooler. Touch the red side to go warmer. Turn on and off the sink where you can have separate temperatures on each side, hence the dual zone or you can sync them back up. Fan speed is also adjusted right here. So you have that. Uh, then you do also have down below wireless charging, two USB-Cs right here, and a 12 volt charger port right there. The two USB-Cs are backlit so you can see them at night. Then you also have the start button here, e-brake right here, and then here's your knob for uh, changing your drive modes. You have a snow mode, just like that, that comes up. You also have the driving mode selection here where you can do eco, normal, sport, or custom right here. And if you don't like the fingerprints, you can actually turn it by doing it here, pushing the button. And it's eco, normal, sport, and custom. We'll go back to normal. And then I can also turn it to off-road and then off-road custom, this, sec this last knob here. So I can actually adjust hill descent control, hill start assist, turn them on and off, all-wheel drive system, do off-road off or normal. Steering is, is normal sport. I'm sorry normal or off-road drivetrain is going to be normal or off-road and then adaptive cruise control is comfort normal sport or eco So I got all of those different things there. I can X out of that But you want to make sure you turn this back to the roadway. So you're back there your key fob nice and thin right here Fits in your pocket doesn't take up all the space in your pocket Volkswagen logo right there You have the panic alarm on the side unlock here uh, then the trunk unlock here and if you touch and hold this when the car is not running that's important if the car is running this isn't going to work but if you do it when the car is not running touch and hold that will open the hatch uh, and then your remote start button right here and lock right there there's also a key embedded in here so if you needed to get in the car your key fob battery died um, you can pop it out and get into the car stadium seat 
uh, cup holders right here, stadium seat style cup holders. This one's a little taller than the one below it here. Uh, so your lids aren't battling for supremacy on the way home from the drive-thru. You have storage right there. The manually adjusted seat on the passenger side, there's a loop to slide it forward and back. Over on this side here, this handle here raises and lowers that seat in a pumping fashion, up and down. And then back here, this teardrop handle right here, adjust your seat back pitch. You do also have bottle and cup storage in the door right there. And then your manuals are down in here. Manuals, and then in the Ziploc bag right here is your tire warranties right there. Very nice. Very nice setup here. There's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof. If you get this as a rental car, the odds are you won't have a sunroof on it. Uh, storage right here. You do have plenty of storage there. It's an armrest. It doesn't adjust or anything like it does in the Golf. Uh, that's kind of a miss. I wish they would have an adjustable armrest like the Golf has. Uh, it wouldn't be much to change it. Let's take a look at the back here. There's a look at your wheels right there. And this one comes in at 37, 146. I'm sorry, 148. Uh, extras on this one are 395 for the uh, King's Red Metallic Paint. 1200 bucks for the power tilting and sliding sunroof. 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror. Uh, and then 368 for the Tiguan protection package, which includes monster mats, heavy duty trunk liner, and cargo blocks for and the luggage net for the rear trunk area. VW Care for 275. 1425 for destination brings you to 37148. You open this one up. The door inset back here. It's more leatherette. That cinnamon leatherette. There's a speaker in here with the grill cover colored black. The arm pad right here is black as well with a contrast stitch there. Bottle and cup storage right there. And then over here on the seats, you have cinnamon. Again, on the interior, the accents or the corner pieces are going to be black. The headrests adjust with the contrast stitch on them as well. Same with the bolsters right here and black down here anywhere where you get scuffs and things of that nature. Here's the handle of the pull. You pull on this guy to, pull, to fold the seat flat and you also pull on this to recline the seat. This fold down armrest in the middle, squishy yet firm. The cup holder is trimmed out in black. There's also a button up on top here I can push and fold that seat down and use it as a pass through. You now have two usable seats. Maybe you have car seats in these and you can still get skis here in the middle. And that seat just pushes back up out of the way. As we go ahead and climb in the back here, lots of leg room back here as I'm wearing my Reese's peanut butter cup socks today. Pockets here and here. And then here's my vent set up right here. I do have a controller that there with that little rotary dial. A little storage compartment right there and a 12 volt uh, charger port here and a USB-C that's backlit right here. So I have both of those items back here. Lots of leg room here. I can even recline this seat. And I'm back, we'll flip this around. There you go. I got the seat reclined here. Lots of headroom up above. It would flip. Lots of leg room as well. I've got easily 12 inches of knee space back here. Nice solid sound on the door when it closes. Bottle and cup storage there again and over here as well. Car seat hookups are here on the outboard seats. Not in the middle. There's a look over the back right there. Lots of visibility giant panoramic sunroof here let's take a look at the rear trunk there's another look at your wheels right there i'm gonna pull this seat back up there you go we come around to the back here right between the g and the u just squeeze right here and lift and the power lift gate goes up that's an adjustable lift gate as well with the button right there here's a look through from the back to the front panoramic sunroof there now this car does not have a third row, third row in it it would if it were front wheel drive uh, the all-wheel drive ones do not come with a third row. There's your monster match right there, cargo blocks here, luggage net there, cargo protection system, a trunk liner right there, and you lift up the floor. Here's your spare right here with the jack apparatus off to the side. There are also uh, bag hooks on, the, or a bag hook on the right side here, and then you have seat pulls here. So I can pull on this lever here, that seat folds down, pull on this lever here, that seat folds down and you just click them into place. You do also have um, a kind of bump out here so you get extra space for larger items. Uh, you can get an optional privacy cover that would uh, line up here and nest right here on these sides. You do get a 12 volt charger port back here as well in the back hatch. And there's the button to close it right there. This car will come with a four year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four year 50,000 miles and include three years of included maintenance. With this particular car. Also, if you buy from me and buy Mario St. Peter's, I'm going to give you an additional three years of free maintenance for a total of six. 
that's a local deal only. You'll have to come to my dealership to redeem those, redeem those extra three. Also, if you buy from me, you're going to get a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in this car and another one like it, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.